joining me here at Ashen, Tom Owen Evans. Um, how would you gauge Hereford's performance overall today? You got the nil-nil draw? Um, yeah, obviously we've, we've drawn and we've come away from home with a clean sheet, which um, is obviously a positive, but uh, the boys are disappointed in there because I think we've done enough to take three points really today. So if first half chances could have won the game? Yeah, I think um, we could have been 2-3-0 up at half time. There's a lot of balls in the boxes and uh, we created a lot of chances. I mean, the, the, the pitch isn't great at all. So it's hard to sort of create um, proper clear-cut chances on it. But um, we had a lot of half chances and, you know, we, we've gone in at half time saying we should have put the game to bed already. Um, but obviously it went to be and we've had chances the second half. But, um, yeah, like I said, we've we, we done enough to win the game, but um, we've only come along way with a point. But having said that, you've got another point away from home and it, it seemed to be a game that Ashton needed to win more than Hereford. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, it would have been nice to pick up the three points, but um, I think in games like this, six points is near the bottom. I think, uh, most importantly, you've, you've got to not lose, do you know what I mean? You've got to, you've got to take a draw at least, and obviously, we've, we've got that, we've got a clean sheet, but um, uh, we, we should be coming away with three points, really. Seems quite a narrow pitch as well, which uh, this didn't really help the, the fact when you got the ball wide. Yeah. yeah. The, the pitch went great. Oh, we we couldn't play any football on it. It was sort of it's a scrappy game. It was probably terrible to watch. Um, it, was, it was pretty bad to be involved in. But um, yeah, it, it, it was tough to play on. I think if if we'd have played them at home, I think we could have beaten them three or four. But um, uh, you know, in, you've got to, you've got to handle the conditions, and we did that. We just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. But you have to take a positive from the fact that you have got a point here, and you've maintained things away from home. Yeah, definitely. Like I said. Uh, first and foremost, we, we, we've got a clean sheet and a point, and it's a game that we, we couldn't uh, couldn't lose. So we've not lost it, but um, at the same time, a little bit disappointed that we, we haven't won the game. Uh, and a battling performance at, at the back, everybody seemed to, to help each other out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it weren't really a game where they were going to sort of play through us or create any chances going going through the middle of us. So um, I mean, Gals and Jordan at the back um, were brilliant. You know. <laughs> Uh, in, in the air clearing clearing um, the balls that they put through but they, they didn't really I think they had that one chance in the in the, the first half and then the last 10 minutes where we hadn't sort of killed the game off they they it gave them a bit of hope for the last 10 minutes and they sort of come back into it but apart from that I thought we were comfortable and we should have won it because you were, you were driving forward from from central midfield on a number of occasions was it a question of that that final delivery in a bobbly pitch that prevented you getting through yeah I mean like I said, it's, it's tough to create clear-cut chances on it here because you can't pass the ball crisp and your, your first touch isn't always perfect because there's a bobble in front of you. But, um, yeah, like I said, we even even though uh, we haven't won the game, we still created enough chances to win the game and we should have finished them chances and won the game. Thanks for your time. No problem, thank you.